Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now as I said that many a time students get confused between rational numbers and fractions. So let us very clearly distinguish rational numbers from fractions. Now when we talk about rational numbers, these are numbers in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. So these are the two conditions that need to be satisfied by any number which is in the form of p by q. For example, 1 by 6 is a rational number, minus 11 by 6, minus 9 by minus 3, these are all examples of rational numbers because in all of these, we see that both the numerator and the denominator, they are integers and the denominator is not equal to 0. So that is why they are all rational numbers. Whereas, okay, not only that, even if we th think of any integer like 16 or minus 16 or uh, 0 or 51 any integer you can think of is also a rational number because any integer is not the numerator itself it is actually 16 actually means 16 by 1 so again you have a number in the form of p by q where p and q are integers so these are all examples of rational numbers now when we talk about fractions or fractional numbers so these are also numbers in the form of p by q but in this case, P and Q are natural numbers. So what are natural numbers? Numbers starting from 1 till infinity. So basically P and Q in this case should be positive numbers alone. So the negative numbers are not considered. And in this case, there is one more additional criteria. Q should not be equal to 0, which is there for rational numbers also. Q should not be equal to 1 as well. What does that mean? That means that if you have a number like 16, so if you say that 16 can be written as 16 by 1, that means it is a rational number but it is not a fraction. That's because it is not part of a whole number. 16 in itself is a whole number but fraction is never a whole number. It is always a part of a whole, right? Like 1 by 5, 1 by 6. So it is never a whole number. So that means 1 by 6, 10 by 24, 16 by 5, these are all examples of fractions. So it doesn't matter whether the numerator is bigger or the denominator is bigger. That is not a problem. The only thing is that the denominator should not be equal to 0. The denominator should not be equal to 1. And both P and Q should be natural numbers. So this is the basic difference between a rational number and a fraction. So please pay attention to this because a lot of times, Students ignore this and when they go to their higher classes, they often confuse that how are fractions different from rational numbers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.